G'day guys, welcome back. Look, I've got a turtle, a little toidle. Rightio, and I thought I would do a, uh, a 3D bloom on him or her. Try to anyway. It's a bit of an odd shape, but we'll, we'll try. So um, I've got everything ready. I've got my Platinum 360 Plus in here. It has been sitting in here for coming up to 20 minutes. 18 minutes or 19 minutes so I'm going to pour that in at the 20 minute mark. I've got some gorgeous green holographic grass green <clears throat> glitter from Larissi. I've just popped some in there and I'll put a little bit of resin in there. This is just going to be for around the outside edge so that's going to be around the outside and <clears throat> I think I, I probably hmm, I might put it in first this time. Usually I sort of pour it on outside afterwards, but I put it in first. Now in here I'm going to put 30 grams or one ounce out of this resin that's in here. Um, it is the 360 plus and I made up 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. Doesn't look like I've got very much left now. So that's going to be for my white. Um, all right, let's get this started. I'm going to pour this in and then I'll make up my, my white. You need to get your inks in as, as soon as possible so that I've got time to settle. I go around the outside with this gorgeous green. Oh, it's a bit tricky. I did pinch my little paper cup though to try and make it a little bit easier. just thought it would be nice having a little bit of glitter around the outside. Glitter being light though, it does tend to sort of float around, um, which I don't mind um, because this, what you see like down here is the, is going to be the, the top and the glitter is going to kind of float on the top, <laughs> which will be the bottom. So yeah, I don't mind if it does that really because it's the other side that we're interested in with this bloom. Just pop a little bit more in the areas that I've kind of missed a little bit. There we go. Whoops, oh my gosh, it went down the hole. <laughs> it went down the hole. Oh, never to be seen again. I'll have to pick it out later on when it's set. Okay, that'll do. Um, I don't have to use it all up. Pick off those little bits later on. Um, okay, so next thing, let's pour... I'll move that white over there. Pour this in. And hopefully I've got enough. Because I looked at it and I thought, yeah, about half a cup maybe needed. What do you think? About half a cup? Who's done the turtle? Um, I guess... It might have taken a little bit more, but with the 3D blooms, um, I find it's a good idea not to fill them too much because, well, A, you don't have to, and um, B, you know, sometimes if you, if you decide you want to do a top coat, um, you don't want to fill it up too much. If you want to do a top coat, then you've got room to do it, you see. Oh, I've got bits of paper stuck to my stir stick. I'll deal with that later. Right. Let's give this a bit of a quick little torch. And you can see how the glitter is starting to sort of float around already, which is fine. Like I said, what you see here is going to be the, the back anyway, so it doesn't matter if the glitter kind of goes over the back. I just don't want it over the front. All right, now I'll drop the inks. I've got the octopus fluid inks. I've got deep sea which is the darkest, lucky green, which is medium, and then lime. So I'm going to use those three. I'll start with the darkest one in the middle. And hopefully they will spread. <laughs> I'll leave that off just in case I want to add some more. Hopefully they'll spread. If you um, if you drop your inks in before your resin starts getting too thick, um, you know it'll spread more. 
But if you leave it till quite late and your resin started getting a bit thick already, then sometimes they don't spread as well. And that's that one. And then the lime, actually probably should have come down a little bit here, shouldn't I? Doesn't matter. Just sort of, so it's centered. All right, and the lime. Trying to have a little bit of white still along the edges, if possible. Not always possible. The way they spread. Okay, so that's those. Oops, now that can just sit there for a minute and move and, and do its thing. Uh, if you had to put your white in now while the alcohol ink was still moving, uh, your blooms would start moving all over the place. So wait. What of my time? Oh my gosh, my time's up. Oh my gosh! All right, I've got 30 grams in there, so three drops of Cast and Craft. One, two, three. See, I need to really start doing my petals. Oh my gosh, I haven't even got my cup yet. Oh my gosh, my um, my thing, my little bag. I haven't got my bag. I need a piping bag. All right, so that's three drops of Cast and Craft. I'll go double that, which is six. One, two, three, four, five, six of pinata white. And I need to go and get my little bag. Just have to walk over here. Yeah, it should really be um, piping at the moment. Ah, bear with me. Let's have to get a bag. Little bag. Right, I'm not even going to cut it down this time for now. Just going to pop it in there because my 25 minutes is up. I find if I leave it too late uh, or too long, your resin starts to thicken and then your blooms don't spread. Your blooms just won't bloom if you leave it too long and your resin gets too thick. All right, so I like to do this at 25 minutes. Inside temperature at the moment is 21 degrees Celsius. Of course, if my room was 25 degrees, if it was in the middle of summer and it was 25 or 26 degrees, then I wouldn't wait 25 minutes. I would get a wriggle on and start piping sooner. Or if my room was really, really cold, then um, I would leave it a bit longer to thicken up. All right, let's just pop that there. Oh, I did chop the end off. Hopefully, I haven't chopped too much off. Oh, I did it afterwards. Normally, I do it beforehand. I just have to make sure that I don't hold it upside down. All right, here we go. Snip some off. Mm. Why am I using my blunt scissors? I should be using my little my little other scissors. I'm using my blunt ones. Oh my gosh. All right. Here we go. Now, what am I going to do? What design am I going to do? I don't even know. I don't know. Let's just I'm just going to do some little flowers, little petals. Except to have a bigger hole in it today. It's because I'm rushing, you guys. That's what I was going to do. I was going to just do circles, spirals, pull through. I still can. I can still pull my stick through. Round we go. Up to the edge without touching the edge. You don't want your white to touch the edge. Otherwise it kind of gets stuck to the, the side of the mould and then it doesn't want to move as well. You know what I mean? If it's getting stuck to the side of your mold. All right, what will we do in here? Let's do a little, let's do one of those. And one of those. Because it's a long, skinny little piece. <laughs> like, what else do you do with it? I don't know. Oh, gosh, I don't know. All right, so there we go. I didn't use it all. That was quick, wasn't it? Right, now, um, I'm going to just 
make sure I haven't left any big blobs anywhere. You know the drill. You've seen me do it a million times. Make sure that you've break up any big blobs because they could be heavier and fall through. Hope this works, you guys. I'm trying not to disrupt my my petals on the the next row down, but I do want to kind of break up those blobs. Um, now what do I want to do? I kind of want to just do a little line like that. And a little line like that. And a little line, oops, like that. <laughs> and, oh, I don't know what else I want to do. I don't think I really want to do anything to it, you guys, apart from that. Maybe just a little to match. It's a little little line in his little footsies there, just because I've done it to the rest of it. Yep. All right. Um, I'm just going to do a swirl in the center. That's it. That's all I'm doing. Huh, that was quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was if I was rushing there towards the end because I. My 25 minutes was up. So the problem, I guess, with... See, I wait for 20 minutes for my resin to get nice and sort of thick to the right temperature. It's usually about 40 degrees Celsius at the 20-minute mark. I didn't take its temperature because I just know it wait about 20 minutes. Um, and then that only leaves me five minutes to put the resin in and drop my inks and mix my glitter and mix the white and get the piping bag and... <laughs> I should have been a little bit more organized and uh, got my piping bag earlier. Now, if if you look at your colors and you think, mm, I'd really like a little bit more ink here or in there or whatever, don't do it, all right? Don't drop your ink afterwards because the ink, like I said earlier, the ink will make your blooms move. You know, when you get a pebble and you throw it into the into water, it, it, ripples it hits and it ripples 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 the alcohol does that as well and you've seen it it drops it spreads um, so when it does that it's going to make your bloom underneath move as well and sometimes it can go all winky wonky and all <laughs> out of shape so try to refrain from adding any alcohol afterwards definitely don't spray the top with alcohol because um, yeah you'll just find it'll ruin it I did it quite a few times and I couldn't work out why my blooms were doing this. But now, now I've worked out that it was the alcohol inks that do it. So, yeah, learning from my mistakes. All right, let's go down and have a little look. See, hopefully he's blooming. I can see the outside there blooming. I might just give it a bit of a zap with my heat gun. Uh, but anyway, I will see you guys when it's time to unmold him. I don't think I'm going to do a top coat. See you soon. I have decided to put a top coat on. Because uh, I just think <laughs> it'll be easier to see the, um, the petals with a, a darker background. And I thought if I use this one... It's this dark bluey green sort of a colour. It's by Lorez and it's called Appetite Blue. It's more of a green really. But I thought that might look nice with the green and it would kind of look as if he's swimming in the ocean. What do you think? So um, I mixed up that 100 grams of resin, 360 plus again. It's getting a bit thick this resin, uh, this paste. If you don't use it for a while it thickens up. It actually sometimes it goes back to a solid. Um, if that happens to you just pop the whole container with its little lid on. Um, I put it in a bowl of boiling water and it goes back to um, runny and liquid again. So there you go. A little tip for you if that ever happens to you. Right let's stir this up and see what we're going to get. might have to put a little bit more in. Oh no, it seems to be alright. 
it's just taking a while to to blend together because it was so thick what do you think it's a pretty greeny blue hey I didn't want green and didn't want blue so I think this is a nice solution to it greeny blue all right so we'll just pour that on look at the green look how it's come up and around into his little flippers and into his neck weird hey this darker bit hopefully it hasn't shifted too much when I was torching or heating see I've got this really really thin piece of acrylic on here um, I don't know why I've got such a thin one but <laughs> it heated and it warped and it bent and my resin all went to the side so anyway normally I use a nice thick piece of acrylic so I'll go back to my usual my other one was getting a bit grotty so I thought I'll just change it oh we don't need that much do i so yeah that's what i i did probably only need 60 grams instead of 100 let's just spread that out i do have a little turtle that i'd like to pop that in so I will use up my leftovers I won't waste it that's for sure take some of this around there borrow some around you go okay so we'll just let that sort of sit and level itself out a bit more and um, yeah, I think I think that'll be really pretty. I'll give it a quick torch. Actually, no, I won't. Oh, maybe. Oh gosh, let's use a little one. Just a little one. <laughs> I'll make sure I don't get it onto my acrylic. All right. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for the unmolding. Hopefully, it works. Cross your fingers for me. Right here, guys. I'm back. It's the next day, and this has set up. So. Let's just get straight into the unmolding, shall we? Very, very thin mold, this one. <laughs> you know the type I'm talking about, those really thin cheapies. You probably only get a couple of pores out of them before they tear or warp. I think this one, this one actually came in a set. I bought a set um, from Amazon. I think it was a set of four different shapes. And um, <clears throat> it, yeah, this was, I think there was an octopus as well. A turtle. Um, oh, I think there was a dolphin as well. But anyway, that's where it came from. This last little area here, that's where I had that bit of overflow. I just need to see if I can poke that down with something, otherwise it's going to tear, I think. It feels like it's going to tear. Because I can't get my finger in there to help push it, so maybe a toothpick. There we go, it's coming. Just don't force it. Oh, <laughs> break my stick. Uh, it's better than breaking the mold, I guess. A little pair of scissors probably would have been a better option. Ah, yeah, got it. Right. Tore a little bit. Get that off. There we go. Right. Oh my gosh. Are we ready? Got a slight little bit of transparency through it there. I can see through it a little bit. All right, here we go. Hope it worked. Oh, wow. That's so pretty. Wow. That um, light green, that's really, wow. Like in your face. Matches with this light green glitter. And the glitter's actually fallen down along the edges and then a little bit's flown over but it, like I said it's flown over the top here which you can't really see because we've got the background so there you go and my dark my dark color in the middle the steep sea um, you know obviously it changes 
color a little bit because it's got the white added in and that's my swirl okay the head looks really pretty these flippers haven't really spread very much I guess it's because it's such a thin thin area it hasn't the resin hasn't got very far to flow you know how it flows from the outside in it hasn't really got very far to flow <clears throat> so um, yeah but the rest of it oh really happy with that look at it it's so pretty worked really well happy with that all right so there's that one not sure what you would do with it maybe you could use it as a little tray um, if you haven't used heat resistant resin you can just put a, a little thin coat of heat resistant resin on it and you can use it as a trivet maybe or you could just put a hook on the back <clears throat> and hang it on the wall all right <clears throat> I'm, my voice is getting worse <laughs> I better go all right thanks everyone take care love you all see you for the next video okay <laughs> Bye for now.